This is probably for the price one of the best looking cameras I've seen on a drone in this price range. It's really good and I cannot believe how smooth it is with no gimbal on there. Look at that. I mean, you and I, I'm just, we look, we look good. I know, thanks. After featuring over a thousand drones on our channel, then taking a small break and coming back to drones, I'm having a good time again. It's like a whole new drone world out there. I'm enjoying shopping for drones. I'm enjoying flying them again, exploring different locations. And that's what today's video is all about. We have another drone we're gonna test. This is a fairly premium quality drone. Very nice brushless motors folding. I love that it's in this very awesome case. And it's from a company that we've tested many of their drones before, the Holy Stone Drone Company. They tend to put out some decent stuff. Generally, back in the day, they were slightly overpriced, but they're sold on Amazon, so they have a very good return policy, you know, customer services there. And, and I just really like this case setup. It's a, uh, for, for the type of drone that we're dealing with here, it's actually, I was surprised at the profile and how small it is when it's folded up. That's smaller than my Mavic, significantly smaller than my Mavic. Now we're missing a few features like the gimbal and stuff, but we're gonna put this in the air and see if we still have fairly stable footage because there is some rubber grommets in there and uh, that should help. We've got some good technology like a visual position hold camera on the bottom. Among other things that I'm excited to test, I think this is probably Holy Stone's best drone currently, if not one of their best. And so it's been so long since we've featured a Holy Stone drone on the channel, I am excited to fly this. So let's put it in the air and see how it does. Okay, let's take off. Motors are unlocked and I'm gonna press auto takeoff. And I, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I have a feeling that I'm going to like this drone. I, I have a very good feeling about this one because the compass calibration process was extremely easy, very intuitive. Um, I like just the whole process so far. Very, very happy with it. So we're always gonna do our hover test at the beginning and see how this does. Got a light breeze of maybe about five miles an hour, so it's nice to test these in the wind when possible. And here's one thing that I'm gonna brag about already that I can tell the camera quality. Look at this, Abby. Look at the live feed of camera quality. It looks, it looks good. good. It's fighting the wind well. I don't see a bunch of jitters and vibrations, which is exceptional. It must have a good digital image stabilization going on because you can see the drone is moving around a good bit. Now here's one more thing I'm gonna brag about that I tested on the ground before doing a takeoff. Watch the camera as I angle it down. I actually have a roller on the, on the transmitter and I can adjust it. It doesn't beep, beep, beep like some of them watch. It's nice and smooth. It's got an actual mo a motor in there rather than like a servo and it's a good smooth camera adjustment. You know, maybe not as good as a Mavic, but it's really nice for that price point. So, so far I'm very impressed. It's hovering well, so let's fly it out some. Maybe get over this snow and go exploring a little bit. I do like this, this is really nice. The one thing that the last drone we tested did not have was a way to adjust the camera angle up and down while you were flying, and uh, this one does. So, also, this one, uh, I'm just watching my live FPV feed, and it is really, really, really smooth uh, compared to how I thought it was going to look. So this is nice. This is the way we like to fly our drones, guys. You know, we, we test with what I would say most normal people would fly their drones too. We're gonna do a bit of a range test with this today. We have nice telemetry on screen. It's telling us that we're currently 70 meters out, flying nice and slow and smooth. And I have that same telemetry. I know you guys can't see it. I'm gonna hold my, here's, here's another complaint I do have actually. If you're like us and you put your phone in a case, it doesn't actually fit on the phone holder. So that's a huge complaint for me. Um, so it's just balancing there, but I like this. If you can, oops, I pressed return to home. And it's returning. <laughs> it is. I, it went I up. It. I can't Oh, it. okay. Uh, the display on the radio you can see here we have all kinds of telemetry i don't know it might be hard see. to see it's so but we can sunny see out 14 satellites that were 75 meters away six meters high so those types of things i really like having that easy to see on the radio tells us how much how much uh 
battery life we have left in the drone and everything too. So big, big fan of that. Okay. Now it is on tripod mode, low speed mode. We can adjust that. I felt like it was flying really slow, but that's okay. That's how we get nice smooth footage. I think the camera quality looks really good. You can see, look, there are deer tracks. In the snow? Yeah. Nice. It's really cool. I'll get a shot of it. See that? Nice. So uh, they, they feed the deer here. Now I got a no signal on the transmitter return. It just said. So I do believe it is returning to home. That's really weird that it's doing that. Really, really weird because we're only 75 meters out. So I'm gonna cancel that because we have a nice strong signal. But it did just say no signal returning. So I canceled it with a press of the home button. And we're gonna go back out and see if it'll do that again. That could have just been a one, one and done thing, I don't know. Don't worry about recording that, Abby. It's way <laughs> It's higher. right in the it's sun in the right sun. now. So I just have it on that tripod mode, which I'm enjoying because I'm looking at my live footage, my live feed. And the, the, it's weird because I didn't lose video signal or anything like that. Go to the right. Get out of the sun. Okay. Let's go over this part of the field. Me. Yeah. Over to the right. It is telling me, if you guys are looking at my live signal, it's telling me on the FPV that I have no signal that it's returning but you know just flashed so the, the signal quality is perfect though it is perfect and just crystal clear looks really good it does look good yeah i rolled the camera up a hair i look think like it helps because i just put down. the well you just put my new phone case on for me and there we go so <laughs> right around okay. 70 to 75 meters seems to be this drone's range limitation it says transmitter no signal returning and that is really weird for a drone of this quality to only have a transmitter radio signal of yeah. 75 meters that is uh that is a huge limitation of this drone is it I'm on gonna, like a beginner mode i'm canceling that again and i'm going to lower it i'm going to get it much lower and we're going to play around with some modes and stuff but that's that's what we do here on our channel you guys we always like to let you know a real world uh, sample of flying. Well, I can't hit the settings button. Hold on, we're buttons. gonna get it lower so I can see what's going on. I can't do anything while you're flying. Well, let's stop recording. I can do I'll... I can do functions, right. but I can't do any type of camera settings. Okay. So well, let me stop. Rec let lap. me stop recording. That's just a home button. All right. The camera is in 4K right now. Yeah. Okay. It's a nice hover. I know you guys but are But I can't do anything else while you're flying. Okay, let's land it and see if we can change flight modes. So you want to record our landing over here? I'm flying line of sight right now. You guys, um, you know, just Abby's holding the phone in her hand. Yeah, I, I, I have one that. hand, so if this is blurry. I, I do like this tripod mode. It's that's that's full left. Like it flies super steady and slow, very steady. And it's kind of neat that it starts off in that mode. But we do want to switch it up and see if maybe we get better range in a different flight mode. So it's definitely worth testing. Let's land this and try another flight mode. So I don't know if we're gonna include this or not because it would literally just be the screen recording. But Abby was able to, did you change it out of 4K? You left it in 4K. It's in 4K. Okay, so we did 4K, but I don't know if it'll get produced in 4K. But you changed the flight. Let's just go ahead and take off. Unlock the motors, take off. You were able to change it. Now it said that there were no height or distance restrictions set on it, but you can set them. Which we just did. And we did, and we set it to 200 as a distance and let's get a nice little hover going here just to test things because we changed a lot of modes and then we also i was able to get it into sport mode so it's not in tripod mode anymore we should be flying much faster so let me i want to fly a hundred percent line of sight when i do this this is the faster flight mode there it's gone a little faster definitely not setting any speed records with this okay let's go from yeah you know what the sport mode's not making a big difference but i will and i also we changed it to imperial so now we're in <laughs> yeah okay. you're welcome america yeah <laughs> sorry other the rest people of the world <laughs> okay i just want to try the range again because at least i know i can trust this if it does go out of its range to uh to come back 
I'm gonna adjust my antennas too. Okay, come on little guy, we can do better than 75 meters. Let's see how many feet that is without having to Google it. So we're gonna fly much faster this time. I feel like we're already, oh, no, there it is. It says it in the corner, it's catching it. It's telling me that it's losing signal, but we haven't lost it. Let's angle the camera down some. Okay, we're gonna keep going out. And it's telling me there's no signal, but I'm gonna fight it anyway. And there, it's coming back at 300 feet. Okay, that's probably really close to the 75 meters, huh. roughly. And yeah, it's returning to home. Well, that's a shame. It's flying up right now, and then it'll come back. When it gets closer, I'll cancel the return, and we'll just fly it closer, because apparently that's what this drone was meant to do. That is not a good range. Okay, we're gonna cancel that, because I don't like the beeping, and I'll just fly it back. I wonder if there's something in the instruction manual that addresses that. The range? Yeah. I doubt it. I think this just doesn't have very good range. Sad, but. But at least it like, it like knows it. <laughs> yeah, it, it I doesn't, guess, it doesn't you know? let you get out of that range. Yeah. But it says it can go 200 meters. So, so you can set the distance to 200 meters, right? I want to get it back in slow tripod mode. Should have done it. There we go. Low speed. It flies. I feel like it flies better in that low speed mode. I mean, it says that you can set the max distance to 200 meters. I feel like it should be able to at least hit that, the 200 meters. But whatever. I mean, this whole video is just going to be about range issues with this drone. But the video quality is really very good. Hmm. I wonder how other people have had if they've had any range issues with theirs. This is probably for the price, one of the best looking cameras I've seen on a drone in this price range. It's really good and I cannot believe how smooth it is with no gimbal on there. Look at that, I mean, you and I, I'm just, we look, we look good. I know, thanks. Yeah, it's a little flushed, I guess, but it's a super bright day. That's not bad though, is it? Mm -mm. I guess if you just are looking for a really good camera drone to fly super close, well, this is your drone. That's, that's everything about it is awesome, except for the range. I really like the go. camera. Me too, I'm gonna fly From what I can see, tree. that's really nice. It's super nice. I like the low speed mode. We can get cinematic shots like this. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, that is very awesome. I can actually see the small branches. So. It's almost like if you want to get nice, smooth shots and you're not worried about seeing how high can it go and how far can it go, this, is a good drone for this that. would be a good drone for that. Yeah. Like, the FPV feed. It's really good. It's really good. Yeah. I'm super impressed oh, with oh, it. Oh, oh, there's the branches. Ah! <laughs> Don't hit the branch. Oh, of good I thing you gonna... turned. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I don't see latency. I don't see any like pops right. or, you know, blurriness no, because nice. of signal issues at all. I'll fly through the hill. I'll go fly behind the hill. I'll bet it'll fly behind the hill and still have good signal, no problem. What do you guys think about filming down on drones? I don't like it. Spot? <laughs> Can we at least get to the end of the field here? Let's try that because I like flying down there. Like, look, these low shots. It's, it's just really, really, neat. really good. I'm just enjoying this because I feel like the camera feed is is good. We'll fly out to the end of the field here. I mean, I feel like this is one of the best signals and camera quality of a non DJI drone I do too. that we've ever had. Yeah. Now the the drone that we featured under two hundred dollars, it was really good, but I think the camera quality on this drone is quite a bit better. Now we're almost at our 300 feet. If it'll do it again, then we know that's our that's our limit. I don't want to hit that tree. I know I'm getting close, so I'm aiming the camera up a hair. There's the 300 feet. Looks cool. Hmm. Is it going to hit it? That's the question. And what's weird is position of everything. Like. There, no signal, it's popping in, so I'm not gonna push it, we'll just fly back. So you're looking at about 75 meters, 340, 350 feet, which 
honestly is pretty good really line good. of sight okay I, you know that's a good that's a good range but there are drones that'll fly much farther so i don't want to sound like i'm you know praising but i don't thing. know if there's drones that fly farther and have a better camera for this price the camera quality is really good so there's two things that annoy me about this drone range issues there see it's it's struggling right there range issues are big and then the way your phone is placed into the radio other than that i'm, I'm really happy with all this I'm guessing the flight time is really good too because right now my battery telemetry still says I only have one bar gone gone and we've been in the air for a while that's crazy yeah I've been filming for 15 minutes but we had a couple minute break in that so there, there was a little jitter when the can when the drone is facing back to you but look at the blades of grass like you can yeah, see I am really impressed and then I went behind the hill and it lost it because the the dirt so it's flying yeah. up on its own and I'm gonna cancel the return. So right behind the hill, I guess this just doesn't have an extremely strong signal. You know, keeping drones closer. I loved flying through the sycamore tree. I'm gonna do that one more time. Don't hit a branch. Yeah. I do, I really think it should go further. But other than that, it's, it's so pretty. There's a low branch right there, and a hill. <laughs> yeah, cruising. I love sycamore trees, they're like Me my too. favorite tree. Isn't that so cool? I mean, it's like it's almost like flying a close range Cine whoop. Yeah, that's if cool. I, if I lose my <laughs> signal here, that would be bad because it'll fly up into the branches. <laughs> oh my, that would be bad. Okay, I'm just, I, I am actually enjoying flying this. I'm just finding the good in it here. Don't get that confused though with, stay, you know, still, still sticking to the facts. It has range issues. I almost think though that if that outweighs, like the camera outweighs the range issues. For me, in my I don't. I'd like to see what the memory card captured, but the video signal I'm super impressed with. For me, I, I, I'm there with you, okay? I don't have to, I don't have to fly a drone two miles away to be happy, okay? Yeah. That's, we don't want to do that. Look, there's ice. Nice. Oh, Old bird. Yeah, I mean, I'm really happy with this camera quality. Hmm. Okay, uh, to, to me, I mean, I can test a few other functions if you guys want. We can go down on the hill and do an orbit test, maybe a tracking follow me, but it is very swampy down there. So I don't know that we're gonna actually be able to test that today. That's why Abby and I are up on this hill. Just look how stable this thing is. That's what I wanna, that's what I wanna focus on. We haven't done our camera stabilization test yet. So let me fly a little higher to get us. And I always like when Abby will record the drone and then I rock it back and forth. Now it's in tripod mode, so it's very slow and stable. But then you guys look at the camera feed down there and you can see there's even some wind today. That thing is solid. It's like there's a gimbal. Trust me, there is no gimbal. There's like no lag. Like the video feed is right with me. It's cool. Like maybe a couple milliseconds uh, behind. Yeah. When I was flying it That's through the crazy. tree, I felt like there was very Arm little. Up. Arm down, arm yeah. up and down. That's crazy. I see that, yeah, there's maybe a half second. Uh, that's, Which, that's what surprises me. Why is there such a good video that's signal? That's crazy. But the, the radio range, the transmitter range is so poor in comparison. That's that's very confusing to me. Well, this has a clearly a very long flight time. That's if amazing. We, if we kept flying this for the whole flight time, we'd probably be pushing a half hour or so. So amazing flight time and really good live camera feed. Hopefully the saved feed on probably the memory card good. looks good. Look uh, just range issues, that's yeah. it. It's stable. I'm impressed with it. I, I like this, I I'm impressed. Too. Just some people want to fly far away. If you're one of those people, you're gonna be disappointed in this for obvious reasons, that range. But otherwise, it is a very, very good camera drone. I mean, I think you guys can see this whole time I've been hands-free while yeah. it's hovering here. And the wind is picking up and it's rocking around some. And it is rock solid. We're on a hill. Super bright today. I mean, super bright. It's very bright. <laughs> that is a solid drone. Holy Stone did a good job. 
if you could make improvements on this drone, Holy Sin, if you're listening, there's our low battery warning. Okay, it just came up. Nice. And it, it, it limits you to 98 feet of altitude and 328 feet of range, which <laughs> that's, that's basically, that kind of tells me something. It's almost like the drone is setting the range limitation as if it thinks it has a low battery. Hmm, maybe I need to look into the instructions troubleshoot a little bit hmm. and if we can figure it out we'll, see, that's about we'll the range. try this again. It says 330 feet and mm -hmm. that's right where we were hitting the return to home. So hmm. if we can push the range on this and figure it out, maybe you guys hit something up in the comments below. Let us know if there's something we can do to make a change to yep. push the range further and we will revisit this drone because yeah. it is exceptional. I think you should just end the video with the drone camera. <laughs> Yeah, we can do that. I like it. It is good. Now it's Should super put flush makeup right on now. today. It's a bright day, but I think this is <laughs> this is a good way to wrap it up. Uh, we won't stare down there. I'll look up at the drone. <laughs> it is nice, isn't it? Yeah. Well, guys, this drone, this Holy Stone drone, it has a wild name, a crazy mouthful. It's linked in the description box below. I love the case that it comes with. You can see it down there in the corner and uh, it fits in there so perfectly. It actually comes with two flight batteries and you can see this oh, wow. is a really long flight time. And the USB charger that comes with it charges both batteries at the same time. Oh, that's another good thing. Yes. So. I, I'm impressed with this one. Uh, me too. I, I'm and impressed. You are very rarely impressed with the I, I really this. am. Usually I'm a sourpuss about it. Yeah. So I guess we will throw an alternative out there for you. Uh, it'll be linked in the description box below too. If you want a drone that has better range and a three axis gimbal, we will link it down there. But this one definitely has better camera quality and I, I think it's got better flight time too. I'm super impressed. I think the quality of this one's right up there. So uh, I'm impressed. If you guys want to see this back on the channel, give this video a like. Let us know some feedback in the comments below. Can we make any improvements on the range on this? Mm -hmm. And we may put it back on the channel. I'll yep. probably keep this as just a fun flying camera drone if I want something yep. a close shot. Yep. Well, this has been a fun day. I'm really happy with this awesome drone, this nice weather to fly in. Let me go up a bit here. <laughs> and for that, I thank God. Come on, cameraman. I also want to say a huge thanks to all of our Patreon supporters because without you guys, we could not get in front of the camera and be as honest as we are and upload as often as we do. Mm -hmm. One final thing to note before we go is a reminder that we will not be uploading any videos on January 1st on New Year's Day. We're going to be over on AMA's channel i think it's called model aircraft or if you just type in the academy of model aeronautics it'll pop up right there or if you follow them on facebook or go look at their ifly ama group it'll gonna, probably be posted over there link it down in the, yep. in the description box so if you guys want to bring in the new year with us we're going to be celebrating by taking over their show yep. on ama should be a lot of fun and just a fun way to bring in the new year the rc sailor way mm -hmm. so uh, that'll be a good time make sure you follow their channels, turn the notification bell on so you don't miss that. And then of course, January 2nd or whenever we upload after that, we'll be back over on our channel, back to regular business. So I can't believe we're not uploading on January 1st on our channel. I know, Feels weird. Well, I feel honored to be over there. Yeah, it's cool. All right, all the good stuff's linked in the description box below, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you over in another video. Bye.